Hey guys, um, you guys end up asking for more of the side quests or side episodes, is how I end up seeing it, to get to know more about the characters and how the world evolves around them. Just to give you a bit of a clarification, the reason why you're confused about Alistair stuff and a couple other things from the other characters, I'm just saying this as of right now, most of it is behind the scenes in DMs, so most of the character RP and like important lore and that, it's main, most of it is just mainly done in the sidelines in DMs, so that is the reason why most of it is just not shown in this video, plus most of it is uh, and details that you don't really need to know. Yeah. It, yeah, plus, um, when it comes down to it, I did end up deciding to try to do, put much of this uh, information in these videos as much as possible. Just so you guys do not get confused or anything that matter. Well, when it comes down to doing so, it, since I've been seeing a lot of comments, uh, which are currently handed as of right now, Everybody wants to see more of Alistair, Cypher, and a lot of uh, Arthur, which I might end up trying to see if he's available today or whatnot. But who knows? When it comes down to it, please stop for the love of God. Stop asking for more Arthur. My goodness. I'm seeing more and more comments, that, which again, I, <laughs> YouTube is being YouTube. That you guys are asking or requesting more of him. Because apparently he's being such a Riz Lord. Not my words. Your guys' words. So. But. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. So. Without being said, we're going to start off with the proposal before we'll end up slowly building up, or if, depending on how Alistair's player is, the one who plays him, if he ends up deciding to time skip it to where he will end up having a conversation with his grandfather, who is now currently freed and in his actual form for the very first time. So his body's a little stiff. So, uh, yeah. And with that being said, uh, I'm gonna let uh, the player that plays Alistair take take the wheel here. And go ahead. As um, as he finally opens the door, I also end up walking to the doorway. Well, into the doorway. 
But as he paused, he'll end up watching the exchange between his mate and his grandfather, having a small conversation between the two. As uh, Allison went into having a small chuckle, escape his lips for a brief moment. Not loud enough to interrupt, but enough to show his appreci pre appreciation for the moment that he's seeing. And, um, he did end up felt a swell of emotion, a mix of gratitude, and what a love that he has to do, who are meant so much for him. Um, Aaron would, um, end up helping Aunt Froder, but Aunt, just so he can be able to, at least, have an easier time to pronounce his name, due to the fact that he's not used to saying a very odd, um, name. Alice's grandfather would end up, um, Kind of speak up for a bit. Still have that familiar gruff voice. Out of an elderly man, but in actual appearance, he's still pretty young, despite being a half elf. And, well, more like wood elf. Let me rephrase that. When he'll end up kind of look up at uh, Aaron for for a little bit as he speaks up. I'm glad he has you in his life. I regret to miss in his ears. As uh, he'll end up saying that. Aaron's response was soft and firm, his hand gently squeezing his shoulder. He's grown into a man see man, and he's always spoken so highly of you. He's grateful, grateful for the time that you do that have together now. Alistair's heart warmed further, pride and affection filling him as he watched to interact. He took a deep breath, composing himself for stepping fully into the room. Uh, uh, welcome back. Uh, Aaron kind of did step forward, kind of um, giving him a slight side hug. Um, right. Uh, but Aaron went into sitting down right next to Ant. He's currently sitting on the couch. He, he is wearing a long sleeve blue shirt, jeans, and he, he he's currently not wearing like a pair of flip flops or anything that matter. So he's wearing black socks just to keep himself warm. As, um,. Again, if you guys don't know on how 
Alistair's grandfather looks like. He currently has short black hair. S skin is slightly tanned. He has battle scars across his face, and he has a faded, grated out eye of a golden yellowish hue to it, but it is faded of color due to the scars that he ended up getting inflicted with. He has a slight scruffy beard, but it is well kept since it has been cut short as of recently. As uh, he'll end up kind of just look at Alistair, just waiting for him to speak as Aaron would gently sit down on the couch next to him. Oh, you just took that out of my mouth, didn't you? And you'll, and you'll kind of chuckle slightly, but uh, you can tell, kind of tell that he's trying not to tear up. Well, it's always going to end up being yes, is it not? The... Uh, okay, like this. I don't throw one at the same. Blame the rot. Absolutely not, because I was not planning on trying to do that. It is what it is. What, you're running off on me. Rub off on me. It How is this um, grandfather, who's still kind of sitting on the couch, just kind of just watching this uh, in front of him, just kind of giving off that slight uh, cheeky smirk on his face.
Nick, I already knew. I thought that this was going to happen. <sighs> Saying that to him, oh, old man who ended up having this happen the first time with his wife. Yes, unfortunately. Doesn't sound you would be proud. Your father, however, might be confused as to why you're dating uh, a Thornton. Mm. Unfortunately not. Do uh, you have an issue saying that, that The only thing that I would end up saying to us, uh, and your boy, is that you're, you're gonna end up having me to help you more than anything, that's all. Sure. Yes, I know I to rest for a bit, but I'm very well experienced when it comes on the hunting, that's one thing. No, no, more than like they're gonna beat my ass up if I'm dead. Oh, trust me, she was way worse. <laughs> Fair enough. Aaron did, um, fill me in about what's been going on. And from what I've been told, everybody, well, your friend, the Pavin Vassier. I, I prefer to say it either way. He... Fair enough. 
from what he ended up filling me in. And again, I don't blame Paul Aaron for being told what to do, but I know he didn't even like doing it. I'm assuming that they all have been suspecting Will of doing any wrongdoings. Yet, when it comes down to it, I know that Will wouldn't really be the one to kill everybody. That's one thing, from what I can tell. But knowing how Erin has been filling me in on everything, I'm pretty sure she's been trying to do whatever she can to prevent any more of these disappearances and these killings from ever happening anymore. That part I'm still unsure about. But, again, <sighs> she does have a twid sampling, but a stiff. Asteph is um, a twin of Willow, but Willow, I again, from knowing how she's acting and whatnot, I'm pretty sure she's been trying to prevent him more of what's been going on in, in the town. And. When I was there, the coffin was open, but I did manage to build the sewer inside. <sighs> I, it's been so long, but this was... <sighs> yeah.
Uh, premise, uh, the cough on itself, it requires that of an Eldian blood. Sacrifice of that an Eldian elf. Well, no. No, you mean. Oh, shit. From what I end up hearing, she's been um, having these outbursts of flames when she rages. It does end up reminding me of somebody that would end up raging, that they'll end up giving off this surge of magic. Uh, wild magic. It's always unstable, and when it comes down to it, um, random stuff would end up occurring if uh, if a surge ended up happening. Yeah, that would be a bit, um, in a bad situation, of course. You end up saying, no, uh, the PI's name, not Adrian's name. Uh, yeah, um, uh, I think it would be for mess if I would end up talking to that little one. Trust me, I have my way with kids. Just when your mother was like that. <sighs> Except up a little fr frenzy little fluff ball.
Yeah, it would be for the best now. Um, if if you want, uh, you guys can go ahead and rest. I'll be right here for a little bit. Dead trust me, I've been saying, but. Uh, yeah, well, I'm not good on timings. Yep. What are donuts? The, the, sorry, it just I never really ha had a thing called donuts. I always usually end up making oh. Yes, even though my parents, it does look like I'm still relatively young, but I did end up accidentally, uh, end up being looked at uh, by a couple of locals here. They thought I was you for a second. <sighs> Sorry. Everybody keeps on saying that I'm a bit of a mid thirties, but I'm pretty sure I'm sixty as of right now. Like I'm not sure. Mm. 
Yeah, that's fine. I'm, I'm the one that has to learn more new things anyway. Oh, come on. <sighs> they really end up making a thing of license, seriously. All right, all right, fine. Uh, everyone kind of just <laughs> tried to keep his face straight, but you can tell he's trying not to laugh. Um, how about that if you end up, uh, go up ahead and try to do whatever you want to with Axe, I'll, I'll be sitting here for a bit.
<sighs> I'm guessing you're trying to prevent your grandfather from doing something stupid. Fair point. <laughs> So I'll see what I can do for the whenever if I have a time on that part. Oh, speaking of Alex, um, she chewed me out. No, no, remember that conversation that you didn't like? When I was talking about Jericho, she she didn't like her. I was again, I didn't like her withholding information. That matter because I prefer to be honest and upfront. I trust me. I I really wanted to say something. I really do. Okay, and Again, when it comes down to what I've been trying to make sure that he would end up coming back, it's just he's been stubborn. What do you mean so? Is there something that you haven't said yet? What do you mean by so born? Did something happen?
Ja, det tror jeg Ja. I swear, I'm, I think she might have had a bag of holding. Are oh, you fucking serious? Oh, I don't really like doing my phone phone breaks all the time. See. You know, but I'd be in the feeling he might end up questioning her a bit more because Alex didn't uh, uh, call me about that because she did. Yeah, I call from Weller, seeing that she was a bit upset that she was questioning, well, questioned. He kept on saying that he had sex with Noah. Like. Noah. So. I oh, mean, that, that she had sexual relations with him. What? No, oh, what now? Oh, shit. Oh, no, you're not. Uh-uh. <sighs> At least you're gonna have to let me go if you're done. Oh, trust me, I'm hurrying to <laughs> quit the office as sheriff. I don't really give a shit at this point.
Well, okay, but not sitting like that, because that's going to get me pent up, you know what. Those are oh, for the <laughs> fine. I'll put that on the side for now. Until my patience runs thin. No. Okay, you know what? No. You know what? I will punish you later. No. Mm-mm. Mm-mm. And uh, he he'll end up immediately <laughs> go after him, and uh, he'll end up running to the bathroom, the bedroom, and I would just end up saying this right here. Who anybody's watching? I'm not gonna describe it, but yeah, it's gonna be a fade of black. Because again, you don't need to know everything. So. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, I'm just gonna end up like saying it's just now, especially when it comes down to it. Is there anything that you would end up wanting to do um, when it comes down to like talking to anyone else, possibly talking to Alex or 
on certain Uh, so you're asking to do that or <laughs> all right I'm trying to sub I ended up saying that just now uh he'll he'll be He'll he'll leave uh, in five hours, so so if I if I t timed it right, uh, it'll be a perfect time to to uh, by the time when he ends up being back, I would end up wanting to get paint and see if he's available. <laughs> 